Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And to did if you guys, it's another episode of Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy here on the, uh, not the Xbox Series X, we're on the Xbox One. Uh, one reason is just because of, of Starfield, and, and, and two, uh, this is an old game and you can't even tell. So, uh, it's still 30 FPS, nothing really changed, so it doesn't really matter, but hey... I don't like to lie. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We're going to be doing more uh, LEGO Star Wars 2. We're uh, going back to Tatooine uh, with the most Isley Space Force. If you enjoy this level, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's see if I can do this. I haven't done it yet. One day, I'm going to do it one of these times. Here we go. Chapter 3, most Isley Space Force. In search of a pilot who can take them to the distant planet of Alderaan. Luke Skywalker and old Ben Kenobi journey by land speeder to most Isley Spaceport. Here, among the most dangerous and reckless something, Rebel Alliance, but Imperial forces are everywhere. Dude, it's like they don't they don't put enough like words. I don't know what it is. It's pissing me off though. It's weird, okay, and I don't like it. My goodness. We're doomed. You don't need to see his aid identification. <laughs> what does Luke say? Says I thought we were dead. Luke, if I wanted to kill you, I would have done so in the house. <laughs> All right. So uh, again, a little 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 thing easier that I'm noticing from uh, uh, the complete saga. To this version, which is again uh, Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, obviously came out before the complete saga. Um, and you know, you, you, you do notice a little bit. A, I haven't uh, you know gotten all the true Jedi yet, which I plan to, uh, as you guys know, for every every level here. But uh, you know, just the graphics. Look, the graphics for the old Lego games don't look that freaking bad. It's just they're kind of old. You know, what I mean, they're they're older games. They actually hold up pretty f and good. I'm not gonna lie. They all they all really do hold up quite um, well. It's just that uh, this one, you know, I noticed from like, you know, this version to Complete Saga, uh, this one has a lot more, uh, I guess, a lack of um, textures and, and all that. It's weird, because when you play this game, or even the first LEGO Star Wars game, and then this one, and then you play Complete Saga, it's almost like the Complete Saga game is like a remaster, you know what I mean? And then like the Skywalker Saga, that's the remake. It's, it's kind of crazy what they're able to do, uh, or what they did in 2007. And not a lot of people really picked up on it, I guess, or just didn't really notice, uh, which I think is kind of kind of funny. You know, because if you like, you just watch the trailer from this game to, you know, the trailer for Complete Saga, or just watch gameplay or what what have you. It's crazy. You know, it's not a big difference, but it's still there. I think it's kind of cool. And then obviously, you know, you get the Skywalker Saga, and it's just like stupidly re remade it's just one of skywalker saga is easily one of the best games i think i've ever played in my entire life uh yeah you know you guys know i had an issue with it but if you're playing a different version we're, we're, we're good to go you know what i mean this is what it is i still don't like it and i wish they fixed it but what you gonna do you know what i'm saying uh so let's see here we're, we're doing all right with studs so far it's crazy though i, I just it's it's incredible i don't know it's incredible because the skywalker i was playing that a few days ago you know and tatooine is like a whole friggin planet like you can go you know everywhere in tatooine for the most part and then in this it's just oh you know this is the level and the level is the town you know that kind of thing the town and uh when you get to Skywalker is just like a, a freaking city. You know, it's it's just insane what they were able to do with that game. Uh, Luke, 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 move, Luke, move. Okay. Uh, what's this? Kill it! Oh, shoot. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Luke, take him out. Oh, Jesus, Luke is Rambo. <laughs> And I will not be the last Jedi. Okay. Stop it. Uh, all right. What's what's this? Oh, look, bricks. Oh, I see. Okay. I got you. Now, uh, this game, this level is a bit longer from what I remember. Uh, so you know, if you guys watch the whole way through, I do appreciate it. Uh, for some reason, like Lego Star Wars One, didn't have that long of levels. Like I recently replayed that. You know, before I started filming this. And, uh, you know, the levels were like, what? 
five to ten minutes each, sometimes even three minutes. You know, I know Skywalker doesn't have the longest levels either, but for this one, they really, uh... Oh, oh okay, cool. They really, uh, you know, they really made the levels longer for some reason, which I don't, I don't have a complaint with. You know, just kind of there, but... All right, now where do I, uh, how do I get this mini kit? Do I... Oh, I see. Let's see. Maybe this will help. I don't know what I'm doing here, but... <laughs> oh! The force is enough. You son of a brick! Hello there! Oh, sorry. Hello there! There we go. Uh... Okay, move that. Uh, where does this take me, though? Alright, cool. Blue studs. Awesome! Now, how do I get that mini kit, though? Right? I mean... Where is it, though? Ah, oh, whatever. I don't care. Alright, let's... Luke, what are you doing? Bitch slapping the citizens. My goodness. Luke, I did not train you in the ways of the Force yet, but... That was a jerk move. Come on, stop it, dummy. whoop -ya! Now, I'm, I'm getting the sense you can kill these guys infinitely, so I'm gonna try to... Do this mega fletcher. Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. I'm a Jedi Knight, darn it. Come on. <sighs> okay. Damn, come on. Hit him. No! Oh, <laughs> all you all you probably heard was just... <laughs> Alright. Uh, Luke, do me a favor. Kill these guys, would you? Just punch him or something? I can't. <laughs> Luke, I have homework. Can you kill these guys? <laughs> Luke, I gotta play Starfield, man. Can you like kill these guys, <laughs> please? Oh yeah, I know what I know what's Shh, hooker. I know what's up. Okay, we need C3PO over here, and, and, and unlike the Skywalker saga, C3PO can't run, attack, or do anything. He just kind of waddles around like a like a dumb droid. Okay, Blue Ben, come here. Oh my God. Build this, come on. Okay. Alright, okay. We're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, get C3PO up and... You know what? Can I kill, uh... If I kill one of these guys... Can I grab his helmet? Ah, I can't. I don't think that... That might be free play. Alright, C3PO, you can waddle up these stairs like a depressed animal. And let's go and, uh... This mofojo, you know what I'm saying? I am over six... The fluent and over six million forms of communication. But don't care. Scum and villainy. Alright. Let's press on. Um, okay. It's funny, though, you know, if, if TT Games, if they kept doing LEGO games like this, with this style of camera or whatever, I think it'd still be pretty successful, but... I know you get like Lego Star Wars or Lego Batman 2, which is like the first open world Lego game, quote unquote. You know the first real one, and then you get uh, Skywalker, which was I mean Lego Worlds is like the the biggest, but you know then you get like Lego Star obviously Skywalker Saga, which uh, just redid everything. So I think it's it's kind of it's kind of like a paradox, you know what I mean? Because like they did this game, and they're like oh this one works. Let's just do that every time. Now, I know the criticism for LEGO games is, oh, every LEGO game is the same, and they're all this. You know, you play one, you play them all. That's not true. That's, like, objectively wrong. If you actually, if you play every LEGO game, yes, they do play similar, but that's every effing game series ever made. You know what I mean? FIFA is FIFA. Call of Duty is Call of Duty. It doesn't matter if you're boost jumping or whatever the hell you're doing. It's still Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? So, I think the the worst thing about Skywalker Saga is that because it was such a success... Mini kit. Raw. Uh, you know, are they just going to you know, make whatever the next LEGO game is, whether that's Harry Potter or whatever, is that just going to be, a, you know, Skywalker Saga 2.0 for the next 15, 20 years until they do it, you know, re re redo the wheel again? I don't know how that's going to work. I got no clue. But, uh, you know, me, I don't understand the argument where they're like, oh, man, you, they're all the same. I just, people who say that have not played them um, or just don't understand gameplay or game design. Just that's straight up. So I think it'll be interesting to see what happens with the next LEGO game and where that takes us. You know, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, like I said, man, if we got more of these, I would have been 
definitely I would have been okay with that. You know, I wouldn't have really cared too much. Because, uh, you know, they're well made. They're sim they're, this is obviously simpler compared to Skywalker or, say, you know, Lego the Hobbit or something. But it's still good. You know, it's still worth playing. Which is always a, uh, a plus. So what, what do I do here, though? Oh. Okay, well, what's the... Oh, I see the ramp. Let me guess. 50 bucks at C-3PO. Oh, look at that! Alright, more bricks to build. Uh, Obi-Wan, you do this. You're probably a better builder anyway. No offense, Luke. Okay. Now, at the time of recording this... Uh, my Ahsoka Episode 1 and 2 review is live. Uh, I will be watching 3 and 4 very soon. Uh, again, I have schoolwork. I, I just got Starfield, so I'm working on that. I got Modern Warfare 2, uh, which is cool. Uh, the new one, so you know, I'm just playing that for fun. Um, but I will get to it. Don't worry. I will be reviewing Ahsoka. Um, don't, don't ruin it. Don't spoil it, nothing. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with, uh, with all that. Oh, okay, this is why I'm making a mistake. Every time. <laughs> even see, or even R2 was like... <laughs> Alright. So now we can build these. And uh, this is an ATST. So we're building an ATST here. Uh, put that on top. Dude, it's funny. Like, as a kid, you know, like as an adult now, this level would take, I don't know. This might take me almost, hopefully not, but maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, you know, because you've seen the video. It's out, but you know, the, in terms of like the, uh, you know, when I was a kid, this took me, uh, Luke, I don't know, an hour per level. I mean, yeah, it took my time, but I don't know why Obi Wan just let that guy like effing waltz in there, and the Luke punched him. Luke, Luke slapped him a few times. He gave him one four. Well, wait, you know what? Hold on, Luke. Hold on. Let me turn around here. Uh, kaboom. Oh, that didn't work. All right. Backing up. <laughs> Backing up. Or going forward. Uh. Dang, man. You need a lot of effing studs to get the true thingy. You know, let me get out of here. I gotta, I gotta smash some shite. I get, like, act like, I actually get mad. Um, physically angered. If I don't. Uh. Luke, what the hell is... Whoa, Luke, what are you doing? Um. Luke's just shooting everything, man. He didn't give a fudge. Um, yeah, I get mad if I don't get True Jedi first time. And then some dipshiz, of course, uh, stole my, my ride. Luke! Stop shooting me, Luke! What are you doing? Alright, get out of here. Okay, let's press on. 55,000 studs exactly. What do you need, though? Like 200? I mean, Jesus. Oh, get wrecked! Okay. Uh, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Shoot or don't. It's fine. Okay. Uh, are we good? Let me smash these. Okay. Yeah, like, dude, like every Lego game I ever played, man, like, I could literally spend hours in just one level. And I did. Or, you know, like, when I, when I first got Lego Marvel 1 in 2013, I mean, that New York hub is still massive to this day, but it was really, like, for... You know, my 13-year-old mind, whatever, 13, 14, it was effing huge, man. It was, like, way bigger than what it is now. What do, how do I... So, I think it's, you know, cool that these games are very consistent, you know? Like, they don't get boring. They don't become smaller or worse. They're just good, good games. Now, there we go. So, in the movie, R2-D2 and C-3PO, obviously, they can't enter the cantina, uh, so they just suck it up but here Luke's Luke's taking no crap from no one he's just shooting everything he doesn't care he's going to be a Jedi what's in here oh nothing all right let's step on the buttons C-3PO where's your arm bro don't worry I'll fix it ah there we go we did it do you see that C-3PO had a hat on. Look, pal. I'll get the money soon. This will be the most brutal death in, like, any Lego game. You poos on my cup!
Uh, uh, I didn't see nothing. Ooh. That's what I thought, bitch. We need a ship. Yeah, don't worry. I've got a ship. Fastest in the galaxy. Millennium Falcon. Alright, Chewie, let's go see what we can do here. Of course we're gonna screw him over. I think uh, it's kind of funny when you when you look at uh, the you know the newer Lego games. Obviously, you know they're not like kids games. They're not for children. They're for everyone. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him. Crap. Oh god. But um, you know, in in this game, like I don't know his name, like the, uh, Dr. Arizona or something, and his little his weird buddy. Um, in you know this game, as you just saw, they just straight up freaking die. Like they just they fall apart and they die. You know they crumple apart into pieces. In the new Lego games, when people die, they don't like crumple apart really, or like in the cutscenes. You know because they're like, oh well, they you know they show up again later, or you can collect them as a character. So they're not dead. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I kind of think that's a bit of a cop out. I think this game did the death scenes. One of the death scenes they did it pretty well, I think. Uh, just in terms of um, you know actually like showing the people dying. It sounds weird. Oh, well, the death was really great. You know what I'm saying. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this? Last. My Han Solo voice isn't great. I think my older Han is better. There they go. They're in Skywalker, too. But uh, in terms of um, young Han, I'll try my best. We'll see what happens. What's out here? Oh, we don't want that. Come on, Chewie. Let's go. If you notice, like, Han's voice in the originals is very... It's not, like, light. But, you know, he's, like, almost, uh... Light. It's, like, high. You know what I mean? Alright, what's over here? He's like, tell Jabba we'll get the money. I don't have it on me. You know? And then in the sequels, he's just like... I want to see the face of my son. You know what I mean? He's just very... Gr and I know that's because he's old. Just kind of funny. Chewie, that's not how the force works. You know, it's kind of funny. Alright, collect the money. We need some purple studs up in this... You know what I mean? We need something... He said, sorry, Chewie. Look, I didn't mean to shoot you. I'm sorry. Okay. How many do we have? 71? Now ah, we're almost halfway. Crap. Well, we might not make this one, guys. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. There we go. Triple tickle, baby, yeah! <laughs> Trust me, kid, you don't want to mess with me when I'm mad and I have a blaster. Beep, beep, beep. Nope. Alright. Here's a Star Wars quiz if you guys are, are, um... Stop it. If you guys are here this long, thank you. <laughs> um, I mean, I hope you are. Uh, what, what canon event... So in the canon, in the lore, officially, uh, where did Han Solo have a full-on, like, lumberjack, motherfudgeon looking beard? What, where was that? Tell me in the comments down below. If you're right, I'll pin your comment. So just give me the name of the either the movie, show, game, novel, book, whatever. Where did Han Solo canonically have a beard, at least the first time uh, in, you know, in the series? Stop shooting Chewbacca! <laughs> Dude, there's like a million fr What the fudge, dude? Why are so many Womp Rats everywhere? Java should have paid us to be exterminators. Okay. What do I do here? I also think it's cool that the uh, Force Awakens game, that one kind of had like this... What the fudge? Oh, I see. This one had... That game had like actual canon events. So like speaking of Han and Chewbacca... You know, they talked about how Han and or they they showed in the game how Han Solo and Chewbacca uh, captured Ra Ra Rathars, and you see that in the Force Awakens movie, and they all get loose. You know, he's like he used to have a bigger crew. You know that scene we see in the Lego game, which is canon, how he gets the bigger crew and how they kind of all die out. You know, like aliens type stuff. It's pretty effing cool. Um, you know, a lot of people are gonna oh the Force Force Awakens game isn't really. You know, really necessary because we got Skywalker Saga, which has all nine. 
What do I do here? Oh, you shoot it? Okay. Um, but I'm going to make a video here one of these days. Kind of, you know, saying why the game is still relevant to play. Uh, but, you know, one of the reasons is that those cannon events. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. Kill these guys. Oh, God. Chewie, I need some help. Come on, Chewie. Stop eating Wookiee cookies and help me. Where'd that other guy go? Are you guys seen a movie? <laughs> What's on? Lego Star Wars is playing. Hell yeah. I watched that. I mean, I played it. Did they mean the Lego Star Wars vi uh, video game, like the first one, or the Lego Star Wars shorts? I'm assuming the game. Alright, so uh, the dewbacks in this game, they actually give you a little bit of a height advantage. Um, so when you jump off of them, they kind of like give you a, a bunch of uh, height. Like, a, you know, extra boost and stuff. Dude, I don't know how the fudge I'm going to get this true Jedi shite, man. This ain't going to work at all. I don't know. I mean, I know it's a longer level, but jeez. I guess from now on, I'll just kind of get as many studs as I can. Uh, because I want to do that, you know what I mean? Unless I, like, get, uh, get, like, a bunch of purple studs or something, which I think, I think purple studs are, what, 10, 10,000? Okay, yes. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta tap the Y button. What's this? Yo! That, that, that's gotta be an Easter egg. I... Those efforts. I should have gotten a freaking achievement. I should have gotten the achievement that said Indiana Jones or something, man. Come on. Wasted opportunity, TT Games. What are you guys doing? Well, we don't have, um... We do not have R2 with us. So let us go over here. And we're gonna get this stud. Please Chewbacca for a little bit. I mean, anyone can do that, right? I mean, you know, that's not talent. Okay. What do I do? How do I, where do I go? I don't know what to... Oh, wait, I see. Hang on. Let's see here. See, Chewbacca, it's funny. Like, each each character rides vehicles or all that differently. Hang on. I just noticed all these things we can hit for money. All right, smash these. The bowcasters, uh... You know, in this game, every weapon does the same amount of damage. But, uh, I think the Force Awakens... Yeah, the Force Awakens game was actually the first LEGO game to have, like, classic, you know, third-person shooting, I guess. Which is pretty cool. Where, like, damage counted, you know? So, like, if you shot a guy in the foot, he'd get hurt. But, you know, if you use Chewbacca and just effing blast him open with a, with his bowcaster, that guy's gonna effing, like, fly. You know what I mean? He's going crazy. Let's play as Luke. Uh, are there any studs back here? No. So, we're almost there, and this is the last part of the level. So, uh, I don't know how we're going to do Now, this guy always kind of freaked me out, just kind of was weird as a kid, because, again, if I probably told you, but I wasn't allowed to watch Star Wars as a kid. Maybe that's why my hot take, I don't think Star Wars is for kids. I think it's for teenagers up, which, in franchise land, a teenager is not a kid. They're different if, if you look at the ratings. Um... That's just me, though, you know. Some people let their four-year-old watch it. I don't know how that's possible. I say 13 up, but that's just me. Um, so, obviously, I did not play this for the first time when I was 13. I, I was maybe like six or seven. Um, so, I didn't know what was going on. I was totally confused. I was like, what? who's this old guy? Why, why is there a furry walking dude? Who's this dude in the, in the black cape? You know, I got no clue. Obviously, I do now. Um, but, you know, they kind of take liberties. Like, this dude... He's barely in the movie. I don't even remember this guy in the movie. And I think they played a little joke where, like, I think it's actually in this game. Where, like, the guy shows up at the end of, like, the Battle of Yavin or something. And the rebel people, like, kick him out or something. Jesus. Alright, let's try, uh... Let's use, uh, Han Solo. Han Solo, Captain of the Millennium Falcon. You can't kill me. Oh, be Oh, boss fight. What's going on here? Okay. Uh, oh, alright. Block that, block that. Okay. Come on. Oh, why is there so many? You can't tell me this many people want to work for the Empire. 
They must have some really hot chicks or like good cookies or something, man. I mean, Jesus. They're like, hey, you want to be a terrorist? No. We got cookies. Better be Wookiee cookies. Okay, well, how do I... Ooh! Smooth as fudge. Damn, dude. Oh, okay, I shot him. So it's not like uh, an actual boss fight. He just kind of stands there and you just got to shoot him. Uh, the worst part is that... You know what? Let me see. Can you get... Is there a red brick where you can, like, get studs from, like, enemies that die? The hell's Daisy Chain? Because if that's the case, uh, that would actually help me a lot with, um, True Jedi. But I think you actually, actually, I think you have to unlock that in, like, an actual, um, you know, red brick. So sadly, guys, I don't think we're going to be hitting that True Jedi. We're almost there, man. We almost freaking made it. We were close. I just definitely killed him. He just fell apart. No cutscene, no nothing. Just died. Last guy. Ooh, yeah. All right, that's the end of the level. Uh, so let's go walk inside here. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna go back and just play this for like a minute um, on my own time when I get the, the the true stud thing. See, I wanna I wanna unlock this legitimately, like in a level, but I don't know what level the stud times bricks are in. And, uh, quite frankly, I love this game, but I don't really have the freaking time to, like, 100% this right now with all this stuff in my life. Um, so I might just do a cheat code. Who knows? <laughs> this is the scene where Leia's like, hey, okay, talking, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> I just killed a million people. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. There we go. We unlocked Han Solo. Chewbacca. And no one else. Now, how many studs did we get? We got 66. 66%. Wait. We got one mini kit. Uh, so that is six. All right. So there you go. Uh, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to do a cheat code. Okay. I'm not going to use the cheat codes when I'm doing this series because I want to try to do it legitimately. Um, but just for myself, once I finish this Let's Play, all three episodes, 4, 5, and 6, I'll go back and I will uh, use the cheat code and just for my sanity. You know what I mean? So uh, the next one, level 4 out of 6 for episode 4, A New Hope, is Rescue the Princess, uh, where we're going to go and uh, rescue Princess Leia aboard the Death Star. Pretty cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this level. Can't wait to do more. And uh, yeah, so that's my plan here. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to check the, uh, what is it, the, the, the thingy where you buy stuff. I'll do that next time because I, I only got 178,000 studs. Uh, and that's quite frankly jack crap nothing. So we're going to try to get more studs. And then as we progress, we're going to go back and, and see what we can buy. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Can't wait to tackle level four, rescue the princess. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Luke! Luke!